Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video I wanted to share with you how to dress boho style but in an up-to-date on-trend fashion. So of course we've seen that this is one of the big trends from the catwalk but this spring summer it's a little bit more grown up, a bit more elegant, a bit more chic and luxury and even if you're not a huge fan of this trend you can always add a sprinkle of it to an outfit rather than too much and feel too overpowered by it. Now in this video I'm going to be showing you lots of different ways to create your own bohemian style outfits, incorporating lots of beautiful pieces from an Insta friend of mine's collection. So it's called Lisa Taylor Design and she's really dedicated to creating a beautiful luxury collection of clothes and accessories in a really sustainable fashion. She's using lots of recycled materials, giving new life to old vintage saris and canter fabrics. And mixed into outfits like I'm going to show you, it really creates that whole luxury boho style that I love so much. So first on my list is kimonos, probably one of the easiest ways to introduce a sprinkle of bohemian spirit to any outfit. Now I've got an ever-growing collection of kimonos in my wardrobe, I don't think you can ever have too many. So in this first outfit you can see how I would style it on a day-to-day -day basis, keeping it really easy and very simple. And probably one of those looks that if you're not too sure about the bohemian trend generally, this is a really easy way to introduce a sprinkle of it. So all I'm wearing is a pair of skinny jeans, I've got my ankle boots on, and a little white camisole top. Just draping over the top this gorgeous mint coloured kimono I think completely makes the outfit. You don't even need to do anything else other than that. I adore the colour, I think it really suits my skin tone and my eyes. And I would say when choosing your own kimono these brighter colours tend to work really really nicely. It's a bit like a blazer but a more chilled out version. It will instantly elevate and complete your whole look. So another thing that really is quite synonymous with a bohemian type outfit is going for something a bit more oversized. Now I know a lot of people are quite wary of oversized shapes, but I think it's how you style it that makes a difference. It doesn't have to look like you're wearing a sag if you style it in the right way. So this dress here, for example, has been made from 100% linen beautiful natural fabric and it has got that exaggerated oversized shape. Personally I like wearing this sort of thing loose just with a pair of gladiator sandals, a couple of bangles on, a straw bag and that's it. If however you feel it's a bit too oversized for you you can just cinch it in at the waist and you're still getting that bohemian vibe with the oversized shape on the top half and on the bottom half but giving yourself a bit more definition in the middle. I've actually got a couple of different dresses with this sort of shape in my wardrobe already because I love it and I find it invaluable throughout summer, particularly when I'm on holiday and I'm at the beach. It's like that perfect throw on dress that is a natural fiber, it's keeping you nice and cool, but looks chic at the same time. Now another way to introduce some more oversized shapes, but perhaps not quite as overwhelming as a dress might feel, it's just with some pretty tops or tunics. So I've got this one here that Lisa Taylor has designed out of recycled saris. I think this is absolutely beautiful. I think the trick with items like this is to really balance it out. So if you're going quite full and voluminous on the top, keep your bottom half quite slimline. So I really love the contrast of wearing something so beautiful like this pure silk voluminous top on my top half paired with quite a distressed pair of jeans on my bottom half and maybe a pair of sandals. I think it makes a really nice juxtaposition between the two different styles. It slims down my bottom half because this is quite big and yet it lets the top do all the talking. The overall feel is then very carefree and natural and that's the look that we're going for. Now although adding in a bit of a mixed match of colours and styles really kind of creates that bohemian vibe. If you're not fond of colour, you don't have to go there at all. You could introduce something quite plain, but that's just got some bohemian style elements to it that will really give off that vibe. 
So something like this that I picked out from Lisa Taylor is just an off the shoulder top in black. But because of the style of the top and this sprinkle of gold thread running through it, it automatically looks bohemian style without having to introduce any color whatsoever. So although I would say don't be afraid of color to create this look, if it's really not your cup of tea, you can go with black. If it's the right kind of style, it will give off a bohemian vibe no matter what you do. She's also got this shirt version in white which I picked out because I really liked that. That would be a really gentle way to introduce some bohemian spirit into your outfit without feeling overpowered at all by it. Now when you think of bohemian chic, often what springs to mind is beautiful maxi dresses or long skirts with lots of gathers around the hem. So Lisa has actually collaborated this spring summer with another independent brand called Beaumont Organics and they've brought out a collaboration with their own signature prints all made from organic cotton. Now, first of all, I have to say the quality of this cotton is beautiful. It feels really, really fresh and quite crisp and like it's going to keep its shape. I love the shape of this skirt, the fact that it's sitting a little bit more high-waisted than I would wear normally, but because it's so flattering, really nipping in at the waist and skimming over my hips quite nicely, I still feel really comfortable in it. And then it just flows out down to that seam at the hem with those giant gathers making a really nice nice full skirt portion. You have got a side sip down the seam here and then a tie at the waistband. But the joy of this skirt is really down to the shape, the fit and that beautiful print in a lovely soft tone of pink. So that's one option on your long skirt to really create that bohemian vibe with your outfit. Another option is to go for pure silk and I have this gorgeous green one to show you which I just love. So this one is made from vintage saris and again it's made from 100% silk. I think the pull for me on this one was this gorgeous shade of green. I absolutely love it. So this one has got an elasticated waistband which is pretty handy because it means you've got more options how you style it. You can either wear it quite high waisted or shimmy it down to your hip bone depending on what you've got on your top half. It's got the little pull ties here and I really like the fact that they've got the little jingly bells on the end and then it flows down all the way to your ankles but with a really wide shape. I much prefer that and I think it links really nicely with all those oversized elements. Someone's desperate to join in. He's just had a bath. Did you wash your hair? Yeah. Yeah. Can mummy finish this video and then I'll be down with you? I'll be here. You're just gonna stand there? <laughs> Sorry about that. The reality of working from home with three children. Whatever type of long skirt you end up going for, I can highly recommend if you're after a bohemian style look, you definitely should have at least one long one in your wardrobe. Preferably one that's got lots of width so it really flows when you move. Fabric content is personal taste really, but try and think about introducing as many natural fibres as possible. Onto long dresses, and if you saw my video recently where I was creating my spring capsule wardrobe, you'll have noticed that I do keep quite a big collection each spring summer in my wardrobe, and that's because I wear them so much. So I thought this would be a really beautiful and quite different dress to add into that collection. So again, it's been made from vintage saris, but it's a pure silk fabric, really, really beautiful silk actually. Though there is a print, I think it's really subtle and you've got just the different shades of pink blending into one another with this very delicate sprinkle of gray running down here. So thinking about the bohemian trend and all those different elements that really create that vibe, this has ticked a lot of the boxes. So it's quite a colorful print, it's very oversized, it's got beautiful long length, it's just gonna flow in the wind as you walk, natural fibers with that 100% silk. And of course, with it being made from a vintage sari, just gives it even more authenticity, really. I don't know about you, but I have 
really, really enjoyed taking a closer look at Lisa Taylor's designs and how it can work really nicely into creating a bohemian style outfit. Hopefully I've given you a few ideas of the different boxes to tick, so to speak. And really, I can't stress this enough that the whole bohemian vibe should be about you feeling absolutely comfortable in that kimono or that long paisley dress, whatever it may be, and don't care and don't worry about what anyone else thinks of you. Do you feel lovely in it? Do you feel comfortable? Well, if the answer is yes, then I think that is absolutely what you should wear. There is no right or wrong to it, it's just whatever makes you feel the best. Thank you so much for watching this video. I shall link all the outfits from Lisa Taylor that I have featured, along with the other items that I've paired the outfits with, in the description box below. I shall be back in a couple of days with another fashion video for you, so hopefully I shall see you then. Take care.